the dog shot 69% in that game, beating USC. Humphrey unable to thunder at home. Travis gets rejected by Metu, and it starts to break the other way for McLaughlin. In transition is Stewart three, and USC, after a rough start, is back to within one. And you see there with USC, the ability off of their defense to get down the floor, get organized, get high percentage looks. Another steal by Metu. Got to find a guard, big fella. He does. It's McLaughlin, his three, puts the Trojans in front. In the blink of an eye, USC has flipped things around here in Stanford. He's a sophomore, he's five foot ten, was a guard. He grew 12 inches. Tennis. Ten inches, for that matter. There's a put back by Sharma. Another capable big man. Yeah, for both teams, they're starting to get to the point where they're about as full strength as they've been this year, but. It's not as simple as that. It's going to take time before you're clicking. Exactly. Here's Humphrey clicking just fine on that fast break off of the feed from Dejan Davis. Ripping a referee. The foul was actually on the floor, so they inbound it. The 10 second differential in game and shot. That two is spinning to the rim and finishing over Humphrey. Largest lead of the game. First time in double figures for the Trojans, and the shot clock turned off. A second should be able to get to the rim, especially with a speedster like McLaughlin. Crosses over on Pugh. The C's part, and he lays it in. Just like you said. And he goes end to end to finish the first half with 14, putting the Trojans back up 11. Stanford, meanwhile, will try and do what it did against UCLA, and that is erase this deficit right here. They trailed by 13, came back to win in double overtime on Thursday night. Humphrey, no from three. Travis, the offensive rebound. And a chance at a three-point play. Davis pushing with his eyes up. And whipped one into traffic. Travis found it. He goes up and lays it in. Reed Travis has taken over. And now McLaughlin with a steal. Numbers for the Trojans. And with a lob, Usher, no. Rakosevic, yes. And just like that, it's back to an 11-point lead. Have a turnover problem. Getting in, watching game film, uh, experience, the quarterback of football. Look at Akpala, how easy off the bounce, just glides in, and then that length to play over the top and flush it. Good judgment there by Akpala. Bring it out, reverse it, give yourself a chance. De Silva steps into a three and knocks it down. It is a three-point game. Again, getting late in the shot clock, though, as Davis accelerates and scoops it in. Stanford offensively has been patient. Here's Davis giving Stanford the lead. The Cardinal has done it again. Timeout, USC. Shows the maturation of these young Stanford players contributing now. Here's Metu to tie it. Well, a good execution against the zone. They went to an overload there. Trojans out of timeouts. It's McLaughlin. Stop and start. To the rim. Lays it in. What a finish. Davis at the horn. Wins it. A hero for the Cardinal. How about it? Fellas, down 15, a remarkable comeback, a Maples miracle. Uh, walk us through that last shot. Uh, we're going to start there. Um, they, they got a tough bucket down here. McLaughlin hit a tough bucket. Um, I looked up at the clock. I saw about like 1.7 left on the clock. Um, I tried to let it roll a little bit. I picked it up and I let it fly. Um, I was shooting that. I was shooting that earlier in pregame shoot. I'm um, just joking with my teammates. And, and luckily, I mean, it worked. It worked out well for us today. Now, were you working on half court shots at pregame shoot? No, after pregame shoot. After pregame shoot. So just my little extra time, just while I'm walking out, I just threw, threw up a couple of shots and uh, that one went in. It's crazy. So practice made perfect. For sure, for sure. Right, now we're going to back it up a little bit. Halftime, clearly, Coach Hass instructed you guys to put the ball down low to play through the big fella and let him eat. 
29 points, dominant tonight. Uh, was that what Coach Hass emphasized? Yeah, uh, he just wanted us to attack inside. We didn't, we didn't really get to the free throw line a lot in the first half, so he made it a huge emphasis for us to get inside, and Reed's our go-to guy, so we're just going to punch it into him any chance we get. And fortunately enough, he was able to convert a ton of the, our passes to him. Big fella, you dominated in every aspect of play. Got the ball, drove from the perimeter, carved out space down low. What was your thinking in the second half in terms of taking this team, putting it on your back, your shoulders, and, and getting a W? Yeah, in the second half, I was just trying to attack more. I felt like in the first half, and even at halftime, Coach challenged me. He said, the bigs are out playing you. He said, you got to play like you're the best big on the floor every night you come out. So in the second half, I really just wanted to prove that, that if I could stay in attack mentality, I know my guys were going to give me the ball in spots that I liked it. So just going every time, make or miss, I just got to put those shots up and just be confident that my guys are going to find me. Yeah, it's clear your leadership made a difference tonight and obviously dominant down low. What it is, What is it in particular about this team and their ability to come back, their resiliency? Uh, you're the cardiac kids of late in terms of these dramatic comebacks. I'd say is we just got a bunch of dogs this year. I mean, we got some freshmen that are coming in playing, playing big. They have a no, no, no quit attitude. And you can see that at a Dejan. We put the ball in his hands late, and we expect a lot from him. And he's always in the huddle, riling us up, getting us going. But when you have five guys that really believe in this team and believe that we can win any game, I think that's when you start seeing more wins like this. What was the turning point for you? You're playing with a lot of energy, confidence, swag, pep in your step. I know you had some tough times earlier this season, but you got it going right now. Where did that come from, your ability to bounce back like this? Um, I, b I really believe that the lack of success early in the season, that we didn't, get off the, we didn't get off to a good start at the beginning of the season, and I just had to reflect on myself and just see what I can do to help the team. And confidence is a huge um, asset that I can bring to the team. And just giving my guys the confidence that I have, and having, if everyone has confidence, then we'll be able to be a much more powerful team, and everyone will believe that we can come back whether we're down or not, because early in the season we struggled um, finishing out games, um, and now it's, it's our ability to fight back, which we work on in practice, just being tough um, and trusting our teammates. Well, congratulations. You guys were a terrific tandem, a great team effort, and good luck moving forward as well. Take care, fellas. All right, Jimmy, Casey, Rob, Stone, take it away, fellas.